Tattoos were traditionally considered as mark of valor, pride and belief. In Naga society, tattoos was part of their identity. Today we meet a Naga tattoo researcher and revivalist who has launched the country's first conceptualized tattoo studio titled Godna Gram, the tattoo village in New Delhi. Let's take a look. Tattooing is a growing fashion trend in cities across India. Many tattoo artists are cashing in on the style and launching new studios. Meet Morangam Khaling or Mo Naga, who has launched a conceptualized tattoo studio titled Gotna Gram, the tattoo village in New Delhi. After an intensive four year of research and traveling, mostly to the interior villages of bordering Myanmar, Monaga has been working tirelessly to revive the dying tribal tattoo art. The studio will project itself as a one-stop center to build a global connect and also invite tattoo artists from other parts of the country to practice and promote their art. Gonna Gram is for the whole of India. So, uh, we will encourage, we will train uh, artists, uh, we will help them set up studios and help them in research and revival of their tradition in different parts of India. But uh, uh, at the same time, uh, uh, we will always have a space for them to come and promote their art in the capital. Trained as a fashion designer at the National Institute of Fashion Technology in Hyderabad, Monaga forayed in tattoo art. His first tattoo studio, Headhunters Inc., was launched in Nagaland in 2012. It is also said that tattoo is the oldest living art form in the world. It is so old, they have discovered 5,000, 6,000 year old tattoos. You know, and if Nagas are uh, categorized, if Nagas identify themselves, differentiate themselves with the pattern on their clothes, you know, tattoos were there before that. And if you look at the patterns, you know, so the more I started studying, the more I realized that this is where I can contribute as an artist, as an, as a cultural enthusiast. As a person who loves their people, uh, that's how it started and uh, that's when I chose, I decided I became a full-time tattoo artist, more researcher. The efforts of Headhunters Inc. is to study, preserve and promote unique identities through art and design culture. I just came to Mo and start learning tattoo. Uh, first, I do abstract paintings, but after that, I saw the tattoos. Uh, they are very attractive for their lines. So, I thought I can learn tattooing with a mo. For the tribal, you know, tribal people, they have seen all the pictures you have seen. Monaga has niche position of being an internationally acclaimed tattoo researcher and revivalist. And I, I really like it, and especially the the idea about the, the research he has done, that this is something which wasn't there before and he's doing the, this called Neo-Naga um, art, so he's implementing his own ideas in the existing traditional tattoos, who, who, where he's taking it from, from the tribes, also implementing some patterns from the wood carvings, from, from the scarves and stuff like this. I, I, I really like it and I'm yeah, looking forward to finalize the tattoos someday. <laughs> Being known for his crafty ideas and traditional designs, he was featured as one of the top 100 artists of the world in the World Atlas of Tattoo in 2015. The ethnic significance of Monaga's work has intrigued and inspired many youngsters from Northeast region to take up tattooing as a profession.